Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, season 29 is here. And this is the first war of the season. And looks like we're going up against an alliance called None of the Above. All right, so let's take a look in here. And I want to show you guys, first of all, look at this. Two people in our battle group one did not place their defenders. First war of the season, and we're already fighting at a disadvantage. Last season, we wanted to get platinum three. We missed it. And this is not a good start to the season, but we can still recover. It's only the first war of the season. So let's see how this is handled. All right, so let's go ahead and spectate. And let's take a look over here. I'm still taking path three. Uh, no defender on that first one. We've got Guardian right there. Uh, my standard team should be able to handle that. Nick Fury can take that fight. Black Widow Clairvoyant can take that fight. Um, who knows? I might bring in different champions because I've ranked three, uh, several six stars recently. So you might see them uh, in the war uh, or in one of the wars to come. And uh, we've got Sorcerer Supreme, uh, Strike Counter Fury. Nick Fury can do that fight as well. Um, so can Warlock or um, Black Widow Clairvoyant. All right, and I usually do not touch the middle. And then we've got Magneto here. Um, Human Torch does well there. My standard team, um, I don't really have anybody that is the best for it, but Claire, Black Widow Clairvoyant, would be my best shot at taking down that node if I have to. Then in Section 2, we've got Nova. I hate fighting Nova. Hate him with a passion, but I'll be using Claire uh, for that fight. Hopefully, uh, we'll rock it. Um, now, I don't know. Uh, I need to check him out because I could also swap out Warlock for uh, Magneto. Um, I think Nova is uh, metal, but I could be wrong. But if he's metal, then I might swap out Warlock and bring Magneto, who can also take that guardian there uh and he'd also be um viable for that uh magneto right there too so we'll see we'll see what happens magneto is an option uh one of my magnetos is on defense but i do have the other so we'll see might take nova bring him in there or i might just go ahead and do it with claire uh and then you got super scroll if I had to fight that fight, it would probably be Warlock uh, that would take that fight. All right, so <clears throat> now we've got uh, Mini Boss Island here. Claire for that um, Vision Arcus that you see up there. That's a Rage node. Uh, Mysterio. Um, Warlock can do it. Nick Fury can do it. Claire could do it. Um, just have to keep that hurt locker in mind and know how to evade his special one and you should be all right um i can probably do that fight if i have to if somebody doesn't have a better option and then you got mojo preferably on that one i'm thinking human torch but we'll see i'm not gonna like the bands i already know that um when they come in and I can't remember if they're here now. Uh, but anyway, uh, then we've got Man-Thing down there. I don't usually take that one, but Warlock might be an option for that one. Uh, Killmonger, that's an ugly node. Hate fighting Killmonger there, but you can do it with... Um, Nick Fury can do it. The real Nick Fury is stun immune. Um, but I run suicide, so by the time he's down to like 30% health, you know, it's just eating away, eating away. So I don't have a lot to play with. Uh, and I've tried to do that with Nick Fury before. Sometimes I got it. Sometimes I didn't. And then you got uh, Nightcrawler. Preferably somebody that can shut down his evade. Uh, an evade, you know, anti-evade counter, something like that uh, is what you want to do with him there. 
but we'll see. We'll see how that goes. And then, of course, we got the Big Daddy Apaco uh, boss, who we see very, very often. All right, so uh, that's it for my scouting. Right now, I'm still thinking about whether I want to bring in Magneto uh, instead of Warlock. You know, I'm looking here, and I'm like, all right, who would I be using Warlock for? You know, that Super Scroll would probably be the only one that I might use Warlock for. All these other fights, I don't really need Warlock for them. It, it would really only be that Super Scroll. So I'm thinking Magneto. Magneto might be a better option uh, for me to bring in. So you might see that. You might see that. I'm, I'm making up my mind right now. Um, yeah, because I don't see warlock being good for any of these other fights especially he can do it but he's not especially good for any of them except for that super scroll all right so uh we'll be back uh with the fighting all right so as you can see there instead of my standard team i took out warlock and i'm bringing in magneto because of all the metal champions that i had on my path all right so that was the plan now these attack tactics i don't really care for them mainly because I don't seem to have anybody that is useful because of what they did. See, my champions don't benefit. Uh, what they did was they set up a different set of tags for Alliance War. So for example, uh, Nick Fury, he is a damage over time champion. However, he's not an AW damage over time champion so yeah it's it's annoying but i understand why they did it but you know you have to bring in somebody who benefits from them and it's not going to be just your damage over time so my standard team doesn't really benefit from that so those attacker tactics are useless for me okay um but anyway so the first fight up we're fighting Guardian. Pretty straightforward fight with uh, Magneto. I don't need to do a lot of special attacks. I run suicide, so I really don't want to do that anyway. And if he survives and I get a special three, then we can finish him off. Okay? But that's pretty much what I'm doing here. I, I was hitting him like that because I was thinking maybe I should um, go a little bit quicker, rush to that special three, then build up the prowess and that always happens at least once but as you can see we didn't take much damage at all uh, my five star has a good sig level my six star which is on defense doesn't have a good sig level uh, so that sig level makes him tankier all right so you can see here i'm at a special three and i have my prowess so i'm like he don't even have a lot of health left so let, let's just finish him off you know, it's not that uh, big of a deal. But look at my health. You know, even though he he caught me uh, a little bit with that special, I didn't really take that much damage at all. So we're doing good so far. Now, this first fight, mini fight here, Sorcerer Supreme. I normally fight this fight with Nick Fury. And the reason I do that is because, of course... Nick Fury has that second life, so if I mess up, if she refuses to fire his specials until she gets a special three, I'll still be okay, as long as I've played decently up until that point. But my strategy here is pretty much to go all out, go aggressive, try to get as many light ending attacks to put on that nasty bleed. I do have deep wounds maxed out, and that's pretty much it, bleed her out. Uh, I want to bait out some specials, you know, it's not a big deal, but if we can, like we did there, it just gives us even more time to bleed her down. So it's all good. You know, she's playing well and I don't have to worry about her um, uh, special three. All right, so down she goes and it wasn't uh, any difficulty for Nick Fury. I cannot wait to awaken my six-star Nick Fury. I 
We'll take him to rank three, and you'll start seeing him in Alliance War soon as I can. All right, so uh, we came back after a short rest, and the middle was cleared. Now, this fight, I was asked to take this fight. I should not have taken this fight. I did not have good options for this fight. Um, the best option among the champions that the left side brought was Human Torch. Human Torch can do this fight. However, the person who had Human Torch was not confident that Human Torch, he thought that the EMP, the shocks would rip apart Human Torch. Um, but that was not the case. So it was just a little bit of a inexperience there. Um, but I went ahead and said, you know what? I should be able to do this fight. Uh, I've done this fight before, uh, with other champions, you know, I don't turn off decks, but I felt like I could evade enough to avoid the decks. So going into this fight, that is what was in my mind. Avoid the decks. You know, we can move out of the way, but we have to move out of the way very, very early so that we don't trigger dexterity because we'd get that boost, uh, that buff, and we would get all of those shocks on us the first time he did a special attack. Okay, so the only one here that I really wanted to use uh, would have been Magneto. Now, remember, I was planning to use Magneto for some other fights. All right, see how I moved away like that? And there's no decks. So now I'm basically playing Magneto the way that I would have played him anywhere else. Do you see a problem with this? If you don't, you will. This is not the way to play Magneto on this node. All right. And you'll see why in a minute. All right. So this is normally great play. You see, I'm avoiding the decks. I'm taking the blocked hits. But look at my health now. Look at all those shocks. You know why? Because every time I did a heavy attack, I was building up prowess. Those are buffs. And so as soon as he fired a special off, all of those buffs that I had, boom, got turned into some passive um, shock damage and ripped me apart. So now I can't use Magneto. I only got to use him like one time. I was planning on using him for Nova and uh, Ultron, even though I knew I could take Nova with Black Widow Clairvoyant as well as Ultron, I wanted to bring him to use for those. Didn't get a chance. Uh, the guy that had the Human Torch went ahead in there, cleaned him up, had no problem there. All right, so, but we'll know for next time. And if I had played better, I probably could have done that fight you know, um, at least better than I did, you know, by not taking, uh, you know, not generating those buffs. So I hate fighting Nova. I really do. Um, but Clairvoyant can do it. I don't think he gets a lot of, um, I don't think he gets any armor up buffs, so I wasn't too worried about that. You can see that I'm in uh, my Curse of Hellfire. So I'd be doing, this is my damage mode. All right. So here we go. Damage, damage, damage. Boom. And he's down. We didn't lose that much health at all. Uh, so it wasn't really that difficult of a fight. You know, Magneto would have been able to do that fight very well. But Claire can do it as well. Now we've got Ultron. And again, I was really looking forward to fighting this Ultron with Magneto. Because uh, I, I just wanted to see how uh, he would do against him since he's all metal. But Ultron can't have a lot of his functions and everything uh, reduced by ability accuracy. So I was curious. It may be that Magneto wouldn't have done very well against this new Ultron. All right. But he could have still got him down. It just would not have been, you know, as easy as you might think. Not like the old, you know, the old Ultron. All right. So what you see me doing here is I'm not doing full combos. And I'm playing it very, very safe. Okay. Playing it safe. Firing the special off. He can't get his um, 
health or his uh, regen because he can't generate a buff. His, you know, that's not ability accuracy. He just can't get a buff. So we didn't have to worry about that first one. Okay. And you see, I'm just trying to play it really slow. You know, boom, boom, boom. And we were able to get him down. All right. Now, that was the only fight for that section that I had, those two fights. And now we're going to switch over because I had a chance to fight against the boss. I didn't fight that Super Scroll. Uh, someone else came in and cleared that up. Uh, but I had to do this boss fight live. All right. I mean, this war is lost, by the way. So it's not, not like, um, oh, what am I doing? He's probably already, um, bleed immune too. Yeah. And he's, uh, maxed out. All right. Let's, let's see what we can do. Uh, he just want to dance. Couldn't get him to fight. You don't want to fight. There we go. Good night. Ah. Woo! Look at sucking now. Suck is sucking now. Ah! I was dashing back and it wouldn't let me move. He finally caught me. That was pretty good.
All I was doing was dashing back, boy. Oh, somebody ended up finishing him off. Now that was a decent run, though. If he hadn't caught me, if I had, if my dash had worked on that one, we we might have finished him off. All right. So after a brief intermission, we'll be back, and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back. And of course, no surprise, we lost this war. Uh, we played terribly. I'm not going to even uh, make no excuses. We played terribly. We died way more than they did. We had two people. We were two people down. So we really needed to play even better than normal, but we seemed to play even worse. So first war of the season, we had two people not placed. We died more than double their deaths okay so not a good uh start to the war okay not a good start to the season uh i took that fight that i really shouldn't have taken and ended up contributing to the deaths but our deaths weren't even close to theirs and our diversity of course we had two people not place uh was horrible all right so let's see what happens with war number two so that's going to do it, guys, for this video. Thank you for watching. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.